Have you ever kicked a soccer ball or shot a basketball and thought to yourself, how exactly are these made? While they may look simple on the outside, the process behind building these balls is a blend of precision machinery, skilled labor, and quality control. In this video, we're taking you inside two different sports ball factories to show you how the world's most popular game balls, the soccer ball and the basketball, are made from scratch. Let's kick things off with the soccer ball. It all begins with synthetic leather, a durable, flexible, and water-resistant material that's used for the outer surface of the ball. The factory receives large rolls of this material and each sheet is carefully inspected for defects before it's used. Next, high-speed cutting machines slice these sheets into dozens of perfect shapes, mostly hexagons and pentagons. A traditional soccer ball has 32 of these panels, and they need to be cut with pinpoint accuracy to form a round and balanced ball. Once the panels are ready, they're printed with logos, brand names, and designs using heat transfer printing. This step ensures that the artwork stays vibrant even after hours of play on grass, dirt, or concrete. After printing, it's time for stitching. In high quality balls, this is done entirely by hand, a highly skilled task where each stitch must be tight and even. More affordable balls are stitched by machine, but precision is still crucial for shape and performance. After the panels are stitched together, workers insert a latex or rubber bladder into the center of the ball. This bladder is what holds the air and gives the ball its bounce. The bladder is inflated slightly to expand the ball into shape, and then it's sealed. But before any ball can leave the factory, it must pass several quality control checks, including air pressure tests, roundness, and bounce height. Only after passing these tests does the ball get polished, cleaned, and packaged for shipment around the world. Now that we've seen how soccer balls are made, let's move on to the court and check out how basketballs are built. Like soccer balls, basketballs also begin with a rubber bladder. Raw rubber is molded into a round shape under heat and pressure to create this airtight core. But here's the difference. That core is then wrapped in multiple layers of nylon or polyester thread. This winding process adds structure and ensures the basketball can keep its shape through constant bouncing, dribbling, and impact. After winding, the factory prepares the outer panels. These are made from either composite leather or synthetic rubber and are textured to provide grip. The panels are printed with logos, like NBA or brand names, and then glued or stitched around the wound bladder. For official quality basketballs, precision in panel alignment is everything, because even the smallest misalignment can affect how the ball handles during play. Once the panels are in place, the basketball goes through a process called vulcanization. This involves placing the ball inside a heated mold that bonds all the layers together into one solid durable structure. After cooling, the ball is inflated to its proper pressure and put through a series of tests, checking for bounce consistency, roundness, and air retention. If it fails even one test, it doesn't make it out the door. Finally, each basketball is cleaned, polished, and packed for shipment. From street courts to pro arenas, these balls are ready for tip-off. So whether you're dribbling down the court or scoring a goal on the field, remember, your ball went through a fascinating journey before it landed in your hands. It's not just a piece of sports equipment. It's a product of engineering, design, and precision. Want to see how more everyday items are made? Hit that subscribe button and we'll take you inside the world's most incredible factories.